Hi, I'm Chad Wunderlich with Viking Pump. And if you've missed our videos in the past about pump operation, today you're in luck. We're going to be talking about lobe pumps, how they operate, and where to find them. You're watching the Pump Report. Rotary lobe pumps are some of the most common pumps found in both food and pharmaceutical industries. Like gear and circumferential piston pumps, rotary lobe pumps use two rotating pumping elements called rotors. These non-contacting rotors are independently rotated inside a close-fitting housing. And here's how it works. As the rotors rotate, a cavity is formed at the inlet side of the pump. This creates a vacuum and pulls liquid into the spaces between the lobes of each rotor. The liquid is then trapped between the rotor and the close-fitting casing wall. The rotation of the rotors carries the liquid around to the outlet side of the pump. The tight clearance between the rotors ensures liquid does not pass between them. At the outlet, the meshing of the lobes on each rotor forces liquid into the downstream piping. Viking Pump offers a variety of lobe designs, bi-wing, tri-lobe, and four or more multi-lobe. Because of the smooth flow, large pumping cavities, and no metal-on-metal -metal contact, these pumps are ideal for applications such as cheese processing, personal care products, and pharmaceutical production. To learn more about rotary lobe pumps or to view other pump reports, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.